Origin is the first of its kind. It's a dual procession asymmetric design. So a traditional elliptic asymmetric design. So we have an X axis through the pin, Y axis, and we have a Z axis. So basically we set it offline, we rotate it in motion, and it's trying to you know, find its preferred spin axis. So we, in the old, this is a paragon core we found in a gym in a rotor grip design. So basically you'd set your pap, say four inches from your axis, it's tumbling down the lane and it's trying to rotate and it's trying to process. It's going to follow an RG path. And it's going to process and it's going to kind of tumble, lose its axis rotation and process as it's traveling down the lane. So it does do this and it does has a very defined spin axis. And we know that it's very strong core, very, we've seen very great successes out of shapes like that in the past from lots of different manufacturers. And we know that that does create a very consistent defined ball motion. But now let's fast forward in something very unique, origin. What makes it so special? This ellipse asymmetrical design is a dual procession. So something that's never been tried before, kind of something different. So we create this asymmetry. So we, we can see x-axis at the top. We can see a very wide y-axis, very wide ellipse. But if you look from traveling top x-axis down to the y, we notice one ellipse, 45 degrees down. And then we travel to the y, very large ellipse. This is your, your mass bias or your y. But then look at the bottom. We have another ellipse at the bottom. 45 degrees to this. So we have three alternating ellipses that create like a processional PSA. So now that processional PSA, so we create, the bowler creates this ball speed, rev rate, axis rotation and tilt. So they, we put this ball, we tilt it off axis and we start it down the lane. So as it's tumbling down the lane, we have all three of these ellipses, all three of these asymmetrical parts or these asymmetrical shapes traveling down the lane, it's trying to lose axis rotation and tilt and process traveling down the lane. Even when that mass bias is trying to line itself, those alternating ellipses are saying, wait a minute, I still have turbulence along that processional path that says, hey, I still want to create more torque effect, more torque induced procession. This animation represents a bowling ball thrown at approximately 16 miles an hour with 470 RPMs slowed to 10.5%. In this scenario, the ball completes 20 full rotations around its x-axis while simultaneously rotating 90 degrees around its y-axis. The ellipses positioned at 45 degree angles on the top and bottom of the weight block introduce turbulence along the RG bands. This turbulence enhances torque-induced precession, resulting in a more continuous hooking motion. Most shapes in a traditional asymmetric shape, once they've come around and got into the roll phase, They've kind of got to a point where they've lost their tilt and they're, they're rolling and tumbling across that plane. So a lot of times you see asymmetric designs, they have that tendency, they feel like they go forward. But in a design like this ellipse, asymmetric design, even when it gets on that path, you still have two alternating ellipses that are saying, no, 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 I wanna to continue to round that back. I still want to continue to create a little more shape, a little more motion down lane. So it's something that's different. It's never been seen. Everybody who's thrown this ball so far in testing says, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's something different. It's something that continues to shape down the lane. There's been some pros that have been in and thrown it and said, it's just something that I've never seen in an asymmetric design. Even when it feels like it gets online, so it goes through the skid phase, gets into the hook phase, starts to get in the roll phase, and even when I feel like it's going to get into that forward phase or that tumble phase, it still feels like it wants to continue to kind of shape around that and kind of continue to go a little bit more. So something unique, this origin, this ellipse asymmetrical design is the first of its kind in bowling, and I urge you to go out and try one and try something different in the sport of bowling.